You age, get your age, your boy time back here with another video. And in this video today, guys, we're going to be talking about how you guys can get 30 free dark matters as well as some really solid coaches throughout the month of June in NBA 2K23, my team. As you guys can see, here's the first one in Drew Holiday. We'll break it down, you know, how to get Drew Holiday as well as the 30 other ones in this video. Now, before we dive any further, guys, if you're new to the channel, make sure you guys do smash that subscribe button as we are on the road towards 120,000 subscribers. So Drew is our first all-time spotlight reward for the Western Conference. There is, uh, I, I guess, an Eastern Conference coming, but it does look like there are two separate rewards, one from the Western and one from, one from the Eastern as well, uh, that do lock in for a total card. So it looks like 33 total Dark Matters are coming. And Drew is just the first one. So 30 are going to come in challenges. If you complete all of them, they're going to be able to lock in for the East and West. And if you get the East and West, they will lock in for the ultimate reward. Meanwhile, there also is a uh, coach uh, reward as well, spotlight reward coaches, which probably are going to come every single day as well. But again, that's not really what we are truly focused on right now. Here's what it's going to look like every single day, in, at least my guess, on how to get a free Dark Matter. So today until the end of June, every day you load up the game, you have about, I would say, a 45-minute grind. So you have, you guys can see, different triple threat games. You got to win against the current Pels. I think this one is winning against the all-time Pels. This one's winning against, or this one's historic Pels. This one's all-time Pels. This one, uh, I think, is just the normal Pels. And then uh, you have to win a game versus the all-time Pels on pro difficulty to get Pink Diamond Paul Silas as a coach, who is a really solid coach. So if you're just starting the game, you get an absolutely incredible Pink Diamond coach as well. But you complete all of those for the Dark Matter Drew Holiday. So along the way for Drew, you get an all-time Pels pack. You get six tokens, an all-time Pels pack again. And then uh, you're going to get the 1250 MT and Paul Silas. So it's not like it's super rewarding as you go through it, but I don't think it's like unrewarding because it's not like you just get Drew Holiday. You get a pink diamond coach as well. And for me, specific to this account, that's going to be my head coach. I mean, there's no if, ands, or buts about it. When I do get it, this is my no money spin account. And so when I do get uh, this coach, he is going to be my head coach until the future paul silas is going to be my coach so not only am i just getting a free dark matter today i'm getting an absolutely incredible coach in my team for a grind that really is not too bad now you guys might be wondering well are, is there going to be coaches every day how is that going to be how is that going to work i don't know if the coaches are going to come every day again i don't know exactly how that's going to how that's going to work but i will say if we get a, a, a you know, coach reward, like an ultimate lock-in, and again, I don't think there is going to be one, but if we do, I think it's going to be pretty solid just because, I mean, we're starting it off with a Pink Diamond coach, which is kind of crazy in general. Now, what are the cards going to look like? Well, Drew is about as good as they can make a Drew Holiday. They just updated his release too very quick. He's got 35 Hall of Famers, 20 on gold. Is he a top 10 point guard in the game? Is he a, the best point guard in the game? Probably not. But let's say you are just starting my team, or even if you have a squad like I do, Drew can play. Is he better than KPJ? Obviously, probably not because KPJ's offense is too much. But I'm just telling you, Drew can standing duck. He's going to play great defense, going to at least try to compete. The problem is he's Drew Holiday in, a, in an era in a game that is kind of a ran by Giants. So that's really the problem with uh, the Drew Holiday. It's, it's just that he's Drew Holiday. He's not bad, but he's just, you know, Drew Holiday at the end of the day. So, you know, if Drew Holiday is like this i'm excited for the cards to come because let's say we get like i'm just going to throw out some names uh let's say we get like a dark matter i don't know eventually bobby jones for example if we get a bobby jones with 35 hall of famers that has updated stats and updated badges with his player model his player book he will probably be really really solid at that small forward position and let's say you're no money spent in just starting to play 2k just load up the game and grind these every single day. That's my biggest suggestion for you guys. If you guys are wondering what to grind, grind these every single day, and eventually you're going to have a decent enough squad. 
that that's just the way it is. Start it off with Dark Matter Drew Holiday, and you are going to work your way up, build your way up. You'll get a little token, a few tokens, a little MT as you will build your way up, and eventually you're gonna be rewarded because not only do you get Drew Holiday, you get a perimeter centric coach, and and. A perimeter-centric coach is good. I just, I got to kind of stop and, and, and pause the video for a, sec a second to tell you guys, like, perimeter-centric coaches are good overall coaches in my team as well. So it's not just like, oh, you get just the Drew Holiday. No, you get a coach as well with this. Now, is there any agendas with this? I mean, I don't think it looks like there is. So that might be something to keep an eye on. Is there going to be any agendas with this? But doesn't look like it is today. But I don't mind this at all. Some people might be complaining about Drew Holiday specifically. Okay, that's fine. But just think bigger term a longer term like i'm just gonna go back to some cards we got around this time last year so you guys kind of get a better feel for it but just think about it like this imagine you get like a again a fernando martin of last year imagine you get like a, another card i'm just gonna throw out imagine you get like a nate thurman dark matter who's probably gonna be pretty good imagine you get those type of cards again malik seeley a new malik seeley could be pretty solid Imagine like a, a Bobby Jones, again, I know I've already mentioned him, a Jawan Howard potentially with a better release. Like the options are there if 2K makes them work. That's the big thing. What type of cards are 2K gonna put in here? But but the potential is definitely there. There's no doubt about it. So what is my day or what is what is the future of my no money spent hold? Well, gonna probably grind this every day, try to continue keeping up with my team limited and in which I've played 20 games and only seen one ring, which that's besides the point, but 20 free Dark Matters coming to you guys in my team, as well as, you know, other solid rewards, you know, whether it's coaches, whether it's tokens, MT, stuff like that. And it's not just the 30 Dark Matters. These are going to lock in for something bigger, which might even be Invincible. So imagine at the end of this, if they, let's say, I'm just going to throw out a name, lock in for, let's say, an Invincible LeBron James, an Invincible Giannis Antetokounmpo, who we already have, so probably not him, but cards like that, an Invincible Taco Fall, for example. The, the, the sky is the limit. It just comes down to the execution that 2K does put forth with these. Because uh, Drew Holiday, I gotta say, is an absolutely incredible start. I've, I'm excited to use Drew. Do I think Drew is gonna be like the best card in the game? No. But am I excited to use him and try him out? Maybe give him a spot on the Nobody Spent Squad? Absolutely. I'm excited to try him out. See what he does have in store for me. And just know there's a new free Dark Matter coming tomorrow. Every and every single day in June. That's incredible. You can't ask for much more as far as the my team community. That's going to wrap it up for our video on how to get these uh, 30 free dark matters in my team. Come over here to the spotlight challenge. Complete all of these games every single day. And you can do that. Now, the question is, do you got to complete this today? No, there's no timer on this. And you guys can see in the bottom left corner here until December 31st. So let's say you're gone today, you're gone on a trip today, or gone for work today, or you're just really busy today and you wanna catch up all with all of them on the weekend, you will be able to do that as well. But for me, I'm just gonna try to stay on top of it. That's gonna wrap it up for our video, guys. Drop a like on it, subscribe if you are doing as always, man. I love you guys and have a blessed day.